Honourable Member for Edmonton Riverbend. Mr. Speaker, a few weeks back, I raised and alerted this House that the average home price in Canada had hit $720,000. Notice today, Mr. Speaker, $868,000. One reminder, Mr. Speaker, of what the House price was when this Prime Minister came into office. $434,000. So, Mr. Speaker, they officially did it. It took them six years, but they have doubled the average home price here in Canada. So, the Minister, how can he continue to ignore these numbers? The Honourable Minister of Housing. We remain committed to the important issue of housing affordability in Canada. And we have uh, proposed solutions such as a new housing accelerator fund to speed up both the supply and the speed of home construction in Canada, a new rent-to-own program to help renters become home buyers, as well as a temporary ban on foreign buyers of non-recreational residential property. But you know, Mr. Speaker, we uh, moved to implement a 1% tax on non-resident, non-Canadian owned real estate, and the Conservatives voted against it. The Honourable Member for Edmonton Riverbend. Mr. Speaker, all the programs that, that Minister just spoke of fall under the CMHC. Now, the CMHC is a government agency that, according to its website, is driven by one goal, housing affordability for all. Yet, newly revealed documents show that CMHC employees received $48 million in bonuses in the last year. Wow. Mr. Speaker, the average home price went up 21% in the last year. How can this minister award the CMHC bonuses when Canadians can't afford to buy a home? The Honourable Minister of Housing. Mr. Speaker, the Honourable Member knows that uh, no minister in my position has or will ever make decisions in terms of an independent Crown Corporation's employee compensation system. Uh, CMHC, like every Crown Corporation in Canada, is independent of political interference when it comes to the hiring and salaries of its employees. I was going to say, I've got the